I'm so sorry. We get blackouts in the mountains all the time. That's why we have a generator. Great. Which failed. You got a guess when it comes back? Mm, sorry, no. Minutes, hours. We wait. We risk losing the whole day, dropping three patients. If I move my patient by the window, I can debris the ulcer. Go. Pray it stays clear out. I'll see what I can do about a herniated valve. Can you resect a tumor without ultrasound? Oh, I will speak to Dr. Andrews about a revised surgical plan. Okay, go. Muchisimas gracias. Good luck. And that was a clip, of course, from The Good Doctor, which airs right here on ABC. The two-part season finale that airs tonight. I got to tell you, I am on the edge of my seat. I'm so excited to welcome back to the show Freddie Highmore, Christina Chang. We've been able to talk with you before. I am one of the loyal viewers. I have not missed an episode of The Good Doctor, so this really is a treat. Good morning to the both of you. How are you? Good, really wonderful. Nice to, nice to finally get to see you. As well. <laughs> this new technology <laughs> does let us do a few more things. And uh, speaking of technology, though, I think that takes us to the season finale that we saw, this two-parter where the doctor crew has headed down to Guatemala to help patients, a very few number of patients, as we learned with that, that beginning part of the episode. Explain to people where we are, because for me, the tears were supposed to happen in the second part, which airs. The tears already happened in the beginning. Do you like how the season is wrapping up? Freddie, we'll go ahead and start with you. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a wonderful season, and I feel like this two-parter in Guatemala is um, is definitely a, a kind of breath of fresh air. Just seeing the doctors in this new environment, and I guess from my perspective, getting to see Sean, um, you know, in this in this finale, the electricity cuts out, and he's got to think on his feet. He's got to you know think of those solutions that um, that he's the, the the ones that we love him for, where he has a Sean vision and is and is thinking outside of the box. Uh, but it's it's also been a yeah, as, as you say, certainly an emotional um, 19th episode, and, and the last one will, will be pretty sad. And Christina, I'm not going to lie, I was rooting when I saw the way your storyline was kind of going. We're seeing a possible love interest coming aboard, Christina. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> yes, thank you so much. I was excited too when I got the script. <laughs> uh, I think I think Guatemala is doing just wonders for the entire crew of St. Bonaventure. Uh, it was really fun to shoot. And of course, it showcases Freddie's ability to speak Spanish so well. And um, <clears throat> it's definitely an emotional two-parter. So the first and second, you know, oh. Uh-oh, what are we looking at there? Oh, we're taking, we're taking a look at a clip. I believe this may be a little, little post-love post relationship coming out there. I'm seeing, you know, Freddie, or it's interesting, Christina, that you bring up Freddie being able to speak Spanish. That was something that my family and I even complimented Freddie you on when we got to see that skill set of yours come out. And there are so many skills, though, that you bring to Dr. Sean Murphy. And I really liked this season because we always tackle – the fact that, you know, Freddie, your character is on the autism spectrum, but being able to go through a miscarriage and this, the struggles that that happens on a relationship, I feel like the good doctor really is starting to go into different areas than maybe what initially happened in season one. As actors, I know, Christina, your character too had some issues with PTSD a little bit we were able to see. What does that mean for both of you as actors to be able to do that? I feel like... Um... Absolutely, it's. I mean, certainly for Sean and Leah this season, it's been, it's been a really, you know, a, a traumatic, deep emotional um, moment, and one that, as we'll find out in this last episode, is something that can either make or or, or break a relationship. Um, and I think it's it's important to tackle those issues, and I don't think the show has ever shied away from it. Yes, it's hopeful, and yes, there's optimism, but I think it's also really important to not. Um, yeah, to not, not shy away from, from, from stories that have a, have a meaning behind them too. Absolutely. And, and to piggyback off of that, it's, um, I would say it's true. We've never shied away from <clears throat> topics and issues that seem difficult to talk about. And I just want to say quickly that um, discussing PTSD, especially during this particular year, was so um, relevant and timely, and, but more importantly, just you know, it's so key to, to bring that up because that is something that healthcare professionals are, are grappling with right now, you know, so off of the year that we've had. So I, I was really glad that they chose to talk about that. 
And, you know, right. Christina, I'm so I was actually going to go that exact route just coming off of the year. We had so many of us audience members, loyal viewers of the both of you. You know, we look to the good doctor for an escape, but it also shows things that we might not experience in our day to day life. And I'm assuming both as actors and, and Freddie, you wear different hats involved with the good doctor from directing and producing. I'm assuming that's got to be fulfilling on many different levels as well. Yes, no, absolutely. And I, and I think one of the big things that we've spoken about from the start of the season that was important to us this year was, you know, being especially aware and grateful for the real life healthcare professionals who have done so much and continue to do so much for all of us. Uh, I think it's really just put into perspective that we're just actors doing it and, and, and hopefully in some small way we can help pay, you know, homage and, and tribute to the, to the people who really do. And Christina, you know, you're shaking your head in, in agreeance, uh, I can tell. For the both of you, though, let's look ahead. You know, we are, unfortunately, season finale. I don't know what I'm going to do with my Monday nights now as a result. But that aside, <laughs> what are the both of you working on? What are you both looking forward to, though, as we do hit the summer months here? I'm, I'm in London. It's unseasonably hot. So I'm just getting used to the heat wave. I think as Brits, we just talk about the weather all the time. So at least this has given me another topic of, of conversation. So um, once I cool down and the, and the heat goes away, um, I don't have any, any crazy plans, but we'll be back for season five and we'll be, you know, the little break that we've, that we've got this year is shorter than, than usual. So we'll be back filming in, in Vancouver before too long. And Christina, what yeah, about you? <clears throat> well, I was going to say, we'll be, we, it's going to be a pretty quick summer. Yeah. Um, but I was actually living in Vancouver this past season, which is, I don't normally do. I normally commute back and forth. And so yeah. I'm not doing anything. I'm just sort of enjoying being home in my own house. <laughs> 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 understand that i'm sure well again we are looking forward to the new season but before that you've got to catch the season finale again the both of you i think you are fabulous i think the show is fabulous i am so glad to talk to you both please take care hope to see you again and for you at home good doctor season finale happening tonight right here on abc